missing chihuahua is reunited with his owner. He survived 10 days wandering the streets of downtown Birmingham. Fox 6 News reporter Claire Huddleston spoke with his owners, and we know, Claire, that so many people deal with missing pets. What did this guy do to get his dog back? Well, that's Scott. Lear Ferrey first contacted me June 2nd when Charlie went missing. Ferrey had never been in this situation before and didn't know what to do. After talking to some friends and pulling together his resources, he had a friend make some posters with Charlie's pictures. And this is how he's been able to piece together Charlie's 10-day adventure. Charlie may be small, but don't let his size fool you. This chihuahua can run. Well, he went missing from an office party on Beacon Parkway. And we chased him on foot. Me and my employees chased him on foot as far as we can go. But he, he ran down some hills and into some woods. Days later, Lear Foray got a phone call from a woman who said she saw Charlie running towards George Ward Park. In fact, two men in a pickup truck stopped traffic on Green Springs Highway so Charlie could cross safely. Foray searched that area but couldn't find Charlie. The next Charlie sighting came in Glen Iris. He uh, actually went into the Idlewild Circle area, and some people tried to feed him and approach him, but he's shy, Charlie's shy, and and uh, so he's not easy to approach. Um, but uh, they described him as a small white dog who was very visibly shaken. Visibly shaken and hungry. Maybe the smell of barbecue lured Charlie to his next sighting at Dreamland. After that, he made his way towards UAB, and that's where police cornered him in some bushes, until Foray arrived and coaxed Charlie into his arms. It's something he'll never forget. I didn't realize how connected to, to these two little animals. Uh, they're part of my family. They just happen to be dogs. Charlie's brother Chip was also devastated when Charlie went missing. Foray says Chip would search the house looking for his brother, only to be disappointed. Foray says he too would have been disappointed had it not been for help from complete strangers. It's a story about uh, the kindness of strangers and the community at large that came together uh, through prayers, words of encouragement, their stories, and helpful tips. Uh, I would have never been able to recover Charlie on my own or by myself. Now, Foray hopes no one else has to go through what he went through with Charlie. That's for why Foray wants his software company to develop an app that would alert you on your cell phone if there's a missing animal in your neighborhood. He says when an animal goes missing, time is of the essence, and it's important to get that information out as quickly as possible. Scott and Beth. Thanks, Claire. We're glad Charlie's back home. Yeah, and it's a little hot for dogs <laughs> these days. The dog dogs, days, I guess, is what we're in now. Yeah, dogs, people, anybody, yeah, because, uh, you know, by the weekend, mid-90s, we're talking about not a whole lot of rain out there either. Uh, we're going to start things off with uh, a quick look at radar.